We're here to uh, offer support for students while they're here uh, for the duration of their courses, for anything that just might uh, happen unexpectedly uh, while they're on the course. After coming back from Christmas holiday uh, with a lot of luggage, including my cello, I, I turned the uh, basically uh, strain the muscle uh, in my uh, left uh, right uh, shoulder and uh, it became very inflamed and swollen and very painful so i couldn't even pick up a cup of coffee uh, and uh, i just uh, came to student affairs in in tears and not knowing what, what what was happening and i couldn't even play properly because um especially playing in fortissimo and very loud sort of playing was absolutely out of question. First I came to see the nurse, uh, Aideen, very, very nice person. The students um, will be seen by myself and, and whoever else uh, is needed to help them recover. Uh, but it's a very specialist area uh, and it's very important students get the right uh, help and that they don't go to, to just anybody, they need to see um, practitioners, if they're medical practitioners, they need to see medical practitioners that are specific to performers. She helped me, uh, called me, calmed me down immediately and, and uh, made a, an appointment with Drusilla, uh, the physiotherapist who has been, uh, uh, yeah, I've been seeing her every week, at least once uh, since then. And with half a year, I I became <laughs> better, much better. The counselling service here is really good. Um, lots and lots of students use it. It's particularly useful, I find, uh, at really stressful times of the year. So when it's exam time and things and everyone's stressing out and no one thinks they're ready. <laughs> it's really nice to know that... <clears throat> sorry. It's really nice to know that there's uh, just some extra support available here if you need it. We offer study skills for all students, not just students with disabilities. So any student who's having a problem, say, with their dissertation or getting started, you know, trying to get a title, trying to just get a, con a conclusion finished, um, our disability officer and study skills officer um, offers a drop-in session um, uh, once a week for a couple of hours for any student. The building is is old and uh, there are some issues for wheelchair users but we have lifts in the school um, and you know we can look at what adjustments can be made to teaching rooms in order to accommodate students in wheelchairs. The acting uh, studios are being transferred to our wonderful upcoming brand new building Milton Court uh, which will be fully accessible for um, acting for any student who applies to, to that course uh, to be able to use all the facilities and training rooms. Over 10% of our students uh, have declared a disability. Uh, the majority uh, disability is dyslexia uh, and we have students uh, with a wide range of disabilities uh, some mental health problems, uh, we have students with ADHD, Asperger, Asperger's, um, so there's a wide range uh, of disabilities. Our disability officer um, offers support, uh, as do we all. Uh, we have four part-time tutors who assist with dyslexia. Uh, we offer mentoring for students with disabilities. Um, we have a specialist uh, computer training room uh, for students uh, you know, set up with the appropriate uh, software uh, to help with essay writing and planning uh, academic written work. I'm doing my postgrad next year and I needed some help with funding. So I got in touch with Claire Ratlin, the student funding officer, who helped me write a letter um, to send off to charities and trusts. So I'm helping them find funding either through the student loans company or through other external um, funding bodies. I got funding from four different charities, so I think that was mainly down to her help, really. We have uh, financial um, support that I offer students um, 
So many students uh, experience financial difficulties. They come and, you know, they've planned and, and yet they get carried away and, and the money's gone or something unexpected happens. They may have to travel home because somebody's become unwell and they haven't budgeted for that. So we do have hardship funds that we can assist students with in those circumstances. So you usually have a sort of a counselling session with me about it um, because it quite often brings all sorts of other issues to the fore. I think people here are really understanding and supporting um, everyone really who, who needs their advice or help um, and they're sort of like a like a family away from home um, and I yeah I just have the deepest uh, respect for them.